Right, tonight's beer review is going to be Windsor and Eaton Brewery Treetops. Um, this is a commemoration beer. Uh, on the 6th of February 1952, Princess Elizabeth went to sleep at Treetop Safari Lodge in Kenya and awoke to find herself queen. Treetops is the first of three special beers brewed to celebrate the 2012 Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. Each of the Diamond Jubilee beers taste inspiration and greets from across the Commonwealth. This treetops is a deep, rich African style made with toasted yams, vanilla pods, and ground coffee. And it's also got um, sorghum in this, which uh, I really enjoyed when I had the uh, Nigerian export uh, version of uh, Guinness. Mm, getting lots of uh, coffee on the nose. Very sweet smelling. Right, let's give this a go. Mm, smells really, really rich coffee. Kind of. Literally like you're smelling the um, the ground coffee from the packet before you put it into uh, into the coffee. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, that's stunning. It's quite not very thick on the body, quite thin, but the taste is. Uh, very very nice, very deep, very rich lots of kind of chocolate going on I'm definitely getting the vanilla, don't normally get the vanilla a lot in, in some beers that I've had, I kind of find it quite hard to pick out, that's really really distinctive in here you get the sorghum in it, it's hard to explain the the taste but it's kind of I don't know, very different from anything else that you've, you've had before when you have it in a beer. Mm. That is really, really nice. Lots of roasted malts going on, as you'd expect from a, a stout. Very toasty and roasty. There's lactose in there as well, so it's like a kind of like a milk stout, unfermentable. Mm. That is really, really nice. Mm. Now, I managed to pick this up in the um, like beer shop, Noble Green, but you can't actually get it anymore. I don't know. I think it was obviously made for that commemorative um, batch of the, the free beers they made, but I don't think they're going to make it again. Not that, I'm, that I know of or I've seen, so I was quite lucky to get hold of that. Hmm. 4.8% tastes a lot. A lot deeper and richer, like it could be have more alcohol on it, but it doesn't give you the the alcohol burn. It just for a, a fuller tasting beer like that, you kind of expect it to have more alcohol, but it's nice that it doesn't because it's very it's much more enjoyable to be able to uh, dive in. Hmm, I could drink a lot more of that. That's very very tasty. Really really nice. Hmm. So if you do manage to find a bottle of that, definitely give it a go. Look forward to trying the rest of the range. Cheers.